What's up everybody? Another Arcade Talk and Star Wars Review. Hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you're at in the world. Hope you're having a great one. And please smash that like button to help the video. Today guys, as you see, I got a box in front of me. Today, I'm going to open Count Dooku lightsaber from ShopDisney.com. That's right guys, I pre-ordered this. Just came this morning, about an hour ago, so I'm going to unbox the sucker and see what Count Dooku's lightsaber looks like. <laughs> He's excited. He's so excited he had to speak. R2 W50. Excited too. They're both woke up both of the droids. As soon as I said it was from Shop Disney, they're like, what, what, what? Okay, there we go. See the Disney, you probably can't see it. Let's focus down a little bit. I can see they got their Disney paper inside. It's always pretty cool. Has all the different characters on there. I got a statement credit. I can get a Disney credit card. I already have one. Okay, there's the invoice. Oh, interesting, interesting. So this does not come with a blade, but it is definitely. This is not as packaged as well as some of the stuff I've gotten from Disney. I'm surprised there was no bubble wrap or anything. I guess they figured it's secured enough inside the, the box that they really didn't need any more packaging. There it is, guys. There it is. Their normal packaging. There it is there. There's the symbol. Got the same box as you would get if you were at Disney Parks. So it's pretty cool that I got the same boxes then. As you can see, there's no blade with this one. This is the first one I've gotten off Disney that did not come with a blade, which is great because I have three now, so I don't really need. There's the back, there's the side, there's the other side, and you can see in the back. For now, I'll just slice this tape. I'll get the tape off later. I know, guys, right? You excited to see what it looks like inside? I am too. There it is. Oh, there it is, guys. There it is. Count Dooku's lightsaber. There it is inside there. Bam! It closes just like that. Then it's like, oh. <laughs> there it is inside. Look at that. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? It does. Back way out of here. Wow, this is nicer than I thought it was going to be. Got a little piece of paper in there. I'm not sure what that is. Let's see if there's anything underneath. Ooh, this thing's cold. Definitely was. The truck was cold. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything underneath this styrofoam. Sometimes they put extra pieces underneath. That's why I looked. Nothing underneath, I'll show you. That's what's underneath. This is where the lightsaber is in, and then that's what was underneath. It was the styrofoam. I'll play with that later. This is really nice. Okay, guys, there is Count Dooku. Here is the grip. You got a nice grip there. You got a lot of other grip material down here. Not sure if that switch does anything. Doesn't seem like it does. There's a the clip for the belt. Yeah, I know. You guys are excited too. There's a speaker. There's the on and off switch. That's the on and off switch right there. It's that little piece. That's it. Right there's the on and off switch. Interesting. Got the little hook here. Got the piece back here. It's really nice though. back so you can see the whole thing. As you see it's curved. That's how Count Dooku's lightsaber was obviously. There it is in the back. This is pretty cool man. So you know this is probably it's probably one of the better grips because of the curvature of it. It fits in your hand nicely. I like that. I wonder why he wanted a curve like that. And he still got enough hand for if you want to fight with two hands. You still got enough room. The thing's pretty heavy. Uh, 
Uh, it's about the same heaviness as this is a savvy workshop lightsaber. This is the old Peace and Justice. If you didn't see any of my videos. And here's the new Peace and Justice. Actually, the old Peace and Justice is a little bit lighter. This is more the weight of this. That's the new Peace and Justice. This is the old. Yeah, this one's a little bit lighter than the new. Not much. But I, I, I could tell a little difference in it. But Count kind of Dooku's grip is almost the same as this grip here, which is like cows from that video game. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a texture on that grip. I don't know if you can see it or not. And then you got the same texture down here too. And I'm not I don't think this thing does anything. This little thing here, this little gold piece. It's, I think it's solid. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> no, it doesn't doesn't do nothing. Nah, I didn't think so either. Okay. I don't think there's batteries in here. See, there is a battery compartment down here. Yes, it is. There's a battery compartment. It's always down here in the speaker. So that's the inside of the speaker. That's the outside. It's actually pretty, it has some weight to itself. And then I think this is the battery compartment. But it's not, okay. Ah, so now you don't. I think there's batteries in here. So here's the battery compartment. It looks like all the other ones. Like Hasbro's, which Hasbro, I know Hasbro would make these now because of the battery compartment. I think there's actually batteries in here. So let's put this thing back in here. So there it is without the battery compartment. If you don't know how to put these in, there's like a little slit right there. It fits in. There's a slit inside here and it fits, just fits right in there. Okay. Put this thing back on. Put a blade on here. Most time, even if you don't have a blade, I'll at least make that noise. I didn't hear no noise. I did an off switch. So let's put a blade in it. Okay, I got myself a blade. Put this bad boy in here. Oh, there it goes. So yeah, it definitely has a battery. Okay, that's how it fits. Just like you ready to see it turn on? If you didn't know how to put these in, oh, there it goes. It makes that noise. But a lot of times, like these ones here, even though there's no blade in there, if you turn it on, it'll make that noise. You turn it on. Uh, this one does not do that. It does nothing. There's no blade in it. But it does it when you put the blade in. So you put the blade in. You have to find the right spot. Once you do, you push down. You hear that noise, and then you twist. This one twists that far. That far. Okay, let's turn this bad boy on. Makes a different noise. Interesting. Light off here so you can see. It's a blue. You can't tell. There you go. You can see it's blue there. It's kind of weird, man. <laughs> it feels weird with the blade in there. Ooh, I like it. So it's a little quieter when it, I mean, like right now, that's pretty loud like all the other ones. But when, it's, when you strike it, it's not as loud as some of the other ones. It, it turns yellow sometimes, like the other ones. But it's not as, not as loud when you strike stuff. I didn't break it, I didn't break it. But if something's, I like about the noise though, it's kind of like, I don't know. It's kind of, it's not, a, it's subtle. That's what it is. It's kind of subtle compared to the other ones are kind of, this was more kind of subtle. I like it. See how it goes, goes for a while. Let's turn this thing off, see what it looks like. You impressed? I was too. R2W50.
one here. See, even that's a little, uh, not as loud. But it's weird how, it's, it's, it definitely feels different with the blade in it. It's almost like you're using a pointer, man. It's almost like a gun. You know, it's like, it's kind of weird with that, that, um, curvature to it. But I do like it though. It's, it feels totally different than the other, some of the other ones coming at you, man. 3D. So it does have different sound effects too. So I think that's all it does, guys. I don't see any other special buttons or nothing. Because some of these do have extra buttons that do different things, but this one doesn't look like it has anything different. I thought this piece down here, turn the light back on. But if you can't tell, this is a, actually a little piece of gold. I'm not sure what it's supposed to do, but it doesn't move. It's curved too. Are oh, you thinking, do you know what it is? R27? So I'm not sure. I don't think it does anything. It doesn't move. It doesn't go in, it doesn't go up or down. So it's just part of the design of the lightsaber. There it is. Count Dooku's. You can see the curvature there. You can probably see it there as well. Put it down like that. So it's pretty nice. I like it. There's the back side. I like the shiny chrome on it. Just like his, but I, I really like this. It's pretty cool. That's why I got it. I mean, I'm not collecting all the lightsabers that are out there. I was really collecting right now just the... Just let me get to it, man. Calm down, calm down. But I was just collecting like the originals, like Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker's, you know, Yoda's, which I don't have Yoda yet. Just the original characters from the original films. But Count Dooku's, man, is so unique. I had to get it. When I saw the pre-order come through, I was like, man... I just want to get the originals, but it's like, the uh, more I looked at it, I'm like, I have to get it because it's unique than any other lightsaber out there, I think. I can't think of any other one that's um, as unique as this one, and it's because of the curvature. I really wanted to see how it felt in my hand, and it felt really good. It, it feels a little more natural to hold this one, just because of that, that curvature, than one of these. I mean, it still feels good, too, but something about that curvature, man, it, it, it seems like, especially when you have the blade in it, one, your arm, your wrist don't get as tired as quick. And I think it's because of the curvature. And you can kind of do little different things with it as well because of the curvature. So pretty nice. I mean, if you're looking for something unique and you collect lightsabers, check this thing out. I'm not sure if they're sold out yet. If they are, I guarantee they'll come back in stock. Just keep checking shopdisney.com because that's where I got this. I did not get it in a park. If you can't find it there, go over to Hasbro or Hasbro Pulse. It could be over there as well. Of course, Disney owns the rights, right? Disney will come out with the lightsaber first, and then Hasbro will come out with it like a couple months later. That's how I got Obi-Wan Kenobi's. If you didn't check that video out, I'll put it up above. You can check that video out, but that's what happened with Obi-Wan Kenobi. Pre-orders came in in June for Disney. Couldn't get it. So I went over to Hasbro Pulse, and they still had pre-orders. I think on Shop Disney, the pre-orders came in in September. And then I got my Obi-Wan Kenobi from Hasbro last month. I got it in November, I do believe. You only have to wait a couple more months. So I hope you liked the video, guys. If you did, please hit that like button for me. I appreciate it. If you're new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and turn that bell on so you don't miss any of my future videos. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave me in the comment section of this video. And until next time, I will see ya.